In this video, I want to show you how you can export your puzzles generated in the Jigsaw Sudoku Generator as a PNG, JPEG or SVG. So under export format, you'll see you have a variety of checkboxes here. And by default, it will be on PNG. Then underneath this, we have the option to choose our width and our height. Now, as the puzzles are a square, what I type in one box will get reflected in the other. But bear in mind here, when you do choose a export size for your puzzles, and this applies to both PNG and JPEG, is that they are a raster graphic. And what this means is, if you try to scale the size upwards after, you could get quality loss and artifacts. So do bear that in mind when you're choosing a size for PNG and JPEG. After this is the option to select where we want to save our puzzles. So for this, you can browse and select a folder where you want your puzzles to be exported to. And then the same applies for the solutions you can browse and select a folder. Now, these can be either separate folders or the same folder. That's completely up to you. Now, another option that we have when we're exporting our files is to choose the puzzle file name and the solution file name. So as you can see here, whatever file name I put here, it will be appended with an underscore and my starting sequence number. So, as my starting sequence number is zero here, I would have, if I put Sudoku here, my puzzle file name would be Sudoku underscore zero, then Sudoku underscore one, and so on. And then the same for my files, if I put the solution file name as solution, I'll then have solution underscore zero, solution, underscore one, and so on. And now the exactly same principle applies for JPEG. Everything that I mentioned is exactly the same. Just if you want to export as JPEG, make sure you select the JPEG um, tick box here. And then finally, there is one small change on SVG. And that is everything again is the same, the folders, the file names, the starting sequence number. For example, if you wanted to start at one, put one, 100, start of 100, then it'd be Sudoku 100, solution 100, Sudoku 101, solution 101, and so on. Everything is identical. The only thing that changes is because it's a vector format, you don't get to select the width and the height and this is because no matter what size you scale the vector to, it will be in perfect uh, resolution, perfect quality. So I hope this quick video into exporting your Jigsaw Sudoku puzzles as a PNG, JPEG or SVG helps you. Thank you for watching.